Sam Altman just shocked everyone in the industry with an update on the GPT-5, and this changes everything. And you will be able to use these tools to do things that the people in the generation before you couldn't even imagine. Get ready for an adrenaline rush as we get into all of it. And the thing we have today is incredible, and it took a massive amount of scaling in all these different ways to get there. Sam Altman literally compared the current era of large language models to the earliest stages of cell phone invention, when he went live at the World Government Summit. If you already use ChatGPT for code reviews, or literature reviews, or for brainstorming sessions, you might want to ask what to expect going from GPT-4 to GPT-5. Here's the reply Sam gives. I was sort of laughing a little bit because this is going to sound like an annoying answer, but I think it is the important part. It's going to be smarter. But what does that even mean? I guess we'll find out shortly. In case you don't already know, GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, and GPT-5 is the upcoming iteration in the evolution of the GPT family, which is an AI system designed to process and return human-like text based on the information it receives. Now that you're up to speed, here are five reasons why GPT-5 matters so much. 1. Multimodality if ChatGPT made you go wow, GPT-4 must have dropped your jaw even further because it's a multimodal AI system, meaning that it can accept different forms of input and not just text alone. Sometimes it's hard to put into words what you want to describe, which is why it's super important for AI systems to recognize more than one form of output. GPT-4 already accepts different kinds of input and generates output in different forms as well, including images and text. We expect that GPT-5 will take this capacity to a whole new level by adding a new feature in video processing. Google's Gemini is already onto this, so OpenAI will certainly be looking to chart a course in that direction. If GPT-5 gets this done, it will not only be an improvement on existing capability, but it will also ensure a more seamless interaction with AI. But not just that, there's more. Two, increased parameter size. To put this into perspective, let's see what has been said about GPT-4. According to OpenAI, GPT-4 can solve difficult problems with greater accuracy, thanks to its broader general knowledge and problem-solving abilities. Why does GPT perform so well? Well, one of those reasons has to do with its parameter size. A parameter is basically an internal variable that an algorithm responds to while it is trained. The larger this parameter size is, the more complex the model tends to be and the better the model is is when capturing complex data patterns. Parameter sizes have gradually increased as the GPT family has evolved. GPT-2 had around 1.5 billion parameters. GPT-3 stepped it up with a staggering 175 billion parameters, while GPT-4 is believed to have a whopping 1.5 trillion parameters. GPT-4's training data includes an entire web-level body of data that includes both accurate and inaccurate information, as well as weak and strong arguments. Honestly, I cannot even begin to wrap my head around how many parameters GPT-5 will have. GPT-5 will definitely handle text generation, translation, and requests much better than what we are already witnessing. Also, we already know that GPT-4's behavior is refined with reinforcement learning with human feedback, RLHF, to make its response closer to what the user might want. So yeah, cheers to GPT-5 and more human-like responses. All of these translate to the next point on our list. 3. Better Performance to demonstrate this, I'm going to throw a bunch of nerdy stats and graphs at you. I know, graphs might be a little boring at times, but I really need to show you why GPT-5 is the next best thing after some delicious venison. So, what's happening in this graph is a comparison of GPT-4's performance to GPT-3.5 on exams designed to be taken by humans, including the Olympiads and AP. As the graph clearly shows, GPT-4 outperforms GPT-3.5 
of five across several tests. In the case of the uniform bar exam, for example, GPT-3.5 ranked in the 10th percentile, while GPT-4 ranked in the 90th percentile, a significant jump. In the Biology Olympiad, where GPT-3.5 ranks in the 31st percentile, GPT-4 with vision does better being in the 99th percentile. If GPT-4 is doing these numbers, it's hard to imagine how GPT-5 will perform across all the tests. The next graph comes up in a bit. This graph takes a look at MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding. This is a standard used to assess the knowledge a model obtains during pre-training by testing the model entirely in zero-shot and few-shot settings. It's quite similar to how humans are tested, really. Some of the areas covered include social sciences, humanities, and STEM across different ranges of difficulty. It further tests global knowledge and problem-solving skills. Now, because most of this stuff is in the English language, and the OpenAI developers wanted to test how the model performs in other languages, they translated it into different languages. The result is what you see on the graph, as GPT-4 outperformed the English language performance of GPT-3.5 and other LLMs in 24 out of 26 languages is tested. How's that for an improvement? The bottom line here is that we have a pretty good idea how life with GPT-5 will be, considering the scale of these improvements of GPT-4 over its predecessor. But we ain't done just yet. 4. Improved Context Window at the initial launch, GPT-4 had a context window of around 32K. This has been expanded to around 128K for the GPT-4 Turbo. A context window is the highest number of text that a model can evaluate at a particular time when it is processing a response. Generally speaking, this includes both the user's prompt and the model's answer. In essence, it restricts a model's short-term memory, which can ultimately affect the ease with which the conversation flows. But just how significant significant is a context window of 128k. Well, that's only around 1,684 tweets as this graph shows. While it has done a lot to create a highly functional AI system, the context window is still very limited, and this is a significant area where GPT-5 can further prove itself. This will enable users to have more seamless interactions with AI systems, based on contextual conversations that the AI system can remember better. Next, we have have 5. Safety and Alignment this is perhaps the most important area where GPT-5 will make progress. At the moment, there's a lot of risk with the use of LLMs, like producing wrong or harmful statements and generating fake codes. A lot of work went into making sure that GPT-4 was a safer model. OpenAI collaborated with experts across different industries, like bio-risk, cybersecurity, trust and safety, to attempt to create a healthier model. An added layer of security is the incorporation of a safety reward signal while using RLHF. All of this work led to the creation of a model whose likelihood to provide answers to harmful content was reduced by a little over 80% compared to GPT-3.5. Furthermore, GPT-4 is at around 29% more able to provide answers to information on medical advice and self-harm in line with OpenAI policies like we can see on this chart. So, why does any of this stuff even matter? Who cares anyway? Okay, just hear me out. Here's what to expect from GPT-5. 1. Custom AI a multimodal agent with GPT-5-like powers could very well be the start of a new era of custom AI. Think about it for a minute. Wouldn't you like to have a super intelligent system? And what that would do, you know, if you have like an AI programmer, AI lawyer, um, AI marketer, AI strategist. That understands you and can carry out tasks on your behalf. GPT-5 could possibly easily connect to third-party services and carry out tasks unsupervised on behalf of users and without any human involved in the process at all. Your AI could shop for you. Your AI could even find you a new partner. Move aside, furry buddies. AI is now man's best friend. 2. Multi-language support Language barriers suck. Big time, they limit our businesses and friendships. But what if that wasn't a problem anymore? 
Earlier, we saw GPT-5's performance across many languages. It could usher in more efficient translation services, making sure that language is the last thing you ever have to worry about when making new friends or breaking into markets. Now it's all making sense, right? 3. Cost Effectiveness GPT-5 will be immense when it comes to affordability, but the challenge right now is that not everyone can afford to access its full range of capabilities. With the introduction of GPT-5, GPT-4 could become a cheaper but efficient alternative for people. This is very important because AI must be available to everyone. If AI is in the hands of more people, then even more can be done with what we already have. More technologies to make life easier can be created as well you will you will have your entire career uh, flooded with opportunity and the ability to do amazing new things what a time to be alive personally I think this is going to be huge if we are to go by Sam's words and the plans that the company has for us but what are your thoughts about GPT-5 and Sam Altman's vision for the company we can't get enough of AI can we and it's only going to get more intense in the coming weeks because 2024 is going to be a significant year for AI hitting the subscribe button is one guaranteed way to not miss out on any of the latest updates. And if you missed out, rabbits are one potential to replace all smartphones, don't worry, because I have it showing on the screen right here for you.